Right, we're here with uh, Jesse Cork, a freshman guard uh, for the BSU women's basketball team. Uh, Jesse, first off, just kind of talk about uh, what the decision process was uh, in your choice to come to Bungie State. Um, well, I kind of just came here. Well, I liked that it was close to home, and I thought that I could contribute to like the program right away. So that's basically my reason. Are there things um, about BSU, the campus, the location that uh, intrigued you? Obviously, you're from Grand Rapids, so it's uh, kind of close. Uh, was there things about the campus that um, made you come here? Um, well, I came and met the team, and I really liked the team, so that was probably my biggest factor. But yeah, I like that it was close to home. Uh, going back to high school, um, obviously had some success there, uh, state tournament appearance. Uh, kind of talk about that uh, experience. Yeah, we went to state three out of my four years in high school, and so that was really fun. We never got past the first round, but it was always a, like a fun experience going down and being in like a bigger setting. Um, you're left-handed, uh, left-handed point guard, um, which is a little different than uh, you know typical um, point guards. Uh, around the league and, and anywhere really. Um, has that helped you or do, is it something that uh, matchup wise when you're on defense or even offense that um, either messes with the defender or helps you in any way? Well I think it helps because every defender is trained to like play a right-handed like person mm -hmm. and so you think teams would catch on to like me being left-handed but it's always like a little more of an advantage. Um, how about uh, your game? Uh, you kind of talked about a little bit uh, being able to come here and play right away. Um, what is it about your game that uh, we'll be able to transition into Division Two? I don't know, I hope it's just like a leadership thing. Like I like, I don't know, I think just like as a team we need to put it all together and just like come together and I hope that I can just contribute. You've been uh, through you know, a few weeks of practice, got some experience uh, against Jamestown. Um, what's, uh, what's your feeling on uh, you personally contributing to the team and, and what this team uh, is capable of doing. Yeah, well, Jamestown wasn't a very good indication of what we can do. We didn't play very well, but um, I don't know, our team has a lot of talent this year, and I think we have like a lot of team chemistry, and if we come to and put it all together, it'll turn out good. Uh, you were one of six newcomers uh, this year to the team. Um, have you, is it, does it help when it's kind of a big class of, of newcomers, you kind of can uh, come in fresh together? Um, it is, but we get along with all like the upperclassmen too, so we match really well. So I guess it doesn't really make that big of a difference. But talk a little bit about uh, some of the upperclassmen. Is there any? Has there been anybody that's maybe taken you under their wing or or guided you in any way, whether it be on the basketball court, classes, anything like that? Definitely, I think like all of them have. Like if I didn't have my basketball girls, like to train me into college, I'd probably be really lost. But um, like playing wise, like they all like teach you different things and different aspects of the game and you get like accustomed to like the way that the game is faster and played. Um, how about uh, spare time, hobbies, uh, what do you like to do uh, outside of basketball? Um, well I like to spend lots of time with my family and um, I don't know where to go with this. <laughs> uh, from northern Minnesota, do you have any hunting, fishing background? No, I like to spend time in my cabin, I guess. And I used to play volleyball, which I love volleyball to play, so. Do you have a, a favorite season? Like, obviously you're a basketball player, so indoor sport. Um, but do you enjoy the summers more? Like you said, you really get to your cabin. Do you have a, a favorite season? Yeah, definitely the summers. I like being on the lake all the time. Um, how about, uh, is, is there anything about you that uh, maybe some of your teammates or, or people don't know about you? Hidden talents or anything? No. Or maybe no. something unique that uh, you can do that besides being, are you left-handed for, for everything? Or? No, I'm right-handed for like baseball and golf. How about writing and? Writing and eating, I'm left-handed. Writing, okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> How about uh, school? Uh, how's school kind of going so far? Do you have a favorite class? Uh, um, it's going good. I guess like it's kind of hard transitioning from like high school to college where I actually have to study here and stuff. <laughs> but um, I don't know. They say it gets easier, so hopefully that's the case. Obviously, you're successful uh, in your uh, high school career academically. Uh, I believe you finished right around a 4.0. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel like you're so far? You think you'd be able to translate that into into the college uh, college realm? Um, I hope so. Like somewhat. 
it's just like my goal to like do my best and just it's like it's hard getting adjusted to like athletics and academics mm -hmm. you know like balancing your time wise but hopefully it'll go well uh do you have a any sort of career idea yet is there anything that uh, you've thought about um maybe special education or going into some type of social work just working with people in general i think i want to do um i guess is there a uh is there a favorite i mean you said you have a cabin is it in the area of your hometown or um you? it's like an hour west east of okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> so you come a little more north to bemidji it's still do you still have that kind of hometown feel here in bemidji? oh yeah it feels a lot like home to be here which is super nice but um you living in the dorms yep uh, do you have a favorite or least favorite part of dorm life? Um, well, I'm really happy that I like my roommate because I can imagine if he didn't that it won't be fun. But I don't know, probably having to like get outside my room to go to the bathroom <laughs> yeah. is my least favorite part. Or living in a lofted bed. Okay. But How about the food? Are you doing okay with uh, do you have a meal plan, hitting up Wally's every day? Yeah, basically after practice. We go to Wally's, but... I don't know, it's been okay, but I do miss my mom's cooking. <laughs> How about the training aspect of, of college athletics? I mean, obviously, uh, you have practice times and, and games and stuff, but uh, there's a lot of outside of practice time. You, know, you have certain hours out of the week where you're hitting the training room. Um, did you do any of that in high school, and, and how's that been transitioned for so far? Um, definitely not as much, but I did put in a lot of hours this summer, and I think it's definitely like paid off so far for me for like this season but in high school we didn't do much of that at all outside right. of practice how about film study did you do that in high school at all you, and I always see it haven't got the season started yet but is that something that you think you might enjoy uh, kind of taking a look at other teams on film and yeah we did a couple times in high school for our like bigger games our matchups that we really wanted to beat but um yeah I think it'll help a lot watching it more in college for you as uh, you know point guard uh, running the show um uh, obviously, you are, have been successful, probably have good vision. Um, what's your favorite part about being in that uh, position, I guess? Because um, I think it comes with leadership, and I like being in control of things, and I like, I like knowing what everyone's supposed to do at every time. So, I don't know, I like taking that role under my belt. How about any uh, pregame rituals or uh, meals or anything that you have to have before a game or big games? Any... Uh, any rituals or quirks, I guess? Um, well, I always eat a half of a Snickers marathon bar before my game and eat half of it at halftime, I guess. <laughs> so 